Hey, what's going on, guys? It's been a crazy past couple of weeks with me trying to get slag hammer ready for power tour, doing the power tour, making all five stops and coming back. Just got in the other day, so now I gotta get caught up on everything. I gotta get the garage cleaned up. I mean, because we were like burning midnight oil, getting the car ready to go, and now I'm back. Now I gotta clean all this mess up. I've got work coming in. Uh, I've got a Honda Civic that's coming in with a brake issue, these brake lines, I'm gonna take care of that. And uh, what I'm gonna talk about today though is, I got something, a message on Instagram uh, a couple months ago. And um, it's a company called MXR. And I uh, wanna know if I'd be interested, you know, in one of their products. So, uh, they keep reaching out to me for some XR as max uh, speeding rods. And uh, so you, I just ended up saying, okay, send me something. So they asked me what kind of car I had, what I wanted to do, and one of them I wanted to try out what's in this box. So it actually came in the mail pretty quick. And, um, so, let me open it up. And they shipped it in this box. There was no other box with it. So, got some literature here. Looks like uh, some stickers. Uh, installation guide to this product. More goodies. Like more stickers, uh, some gaskets. And if y'all recognize these gaskets, you know what I'm getting ready to get into. So anyway, they were asking me what cars I had, what cars I was going to do project with. Um, so I told them about my Charger RT, and they're like, "Cool." So they sent me this, and what they sent me was a GT45 Turbo. Now, like I said, it came in this box. You can see it's taped up. Other oh, cool stickers. And um, so I was like, yeah, you know, I'll try it out. And uh, and I'm going to give my honest opinion on it. So anyway, it's a, um, a uh, GT45 Turbo. It's supposed to be good up to 650 horse. Uh, we got a little booklet here. And uh, not only do they do turbos, but they do suspensions and, of course, connecting rods. But it comes with this little book of what everything they sell, market, um, some of the people that use their products. And um, so, like I said, you know, I'll give you all a try. But here are the turbochargers. And for most of y'all, you know, turbochargers it can cost a lot of money for a good name brand. Uh, this company here is trying to make a name for themselves. From what I can see, they do have a lot of support online. And, um, but they sell turbo at an inexpensive price. So, when I got the turbo, I opened up the hood of my charger and realized that, man, that's going to be a lot of modifications to get this fit where I want it to fit. Uh, I guess that's why most typically guys put uh, superchargers in, which would basically locate about where the breather box would be at. And a lot, you ain't got to worry about all the piping. There's not a lot of rib on this thing. I don't want to do that much modification. So, what we are going to do is, we're going to put this in the race truck. Ethan's 2004 Dodge that we did the Eagle Head Spot Cam and everything on it. There's plenty of room. So, I think this is what's going to go in there. Now, before I can get a proper review of this product, 
the company only sent me the turbo. I reached out to them about getting maybe the piping kit, cooler kit, and everything so I can give a true, honest review of their product. And they were telling me at this time they could only send the turbo. So I'm it's going to have to wait a little bit. And because uh, I don't have to go buy piping, get, do it myself, the intercooler, and stuff like that. And uh, but we'll see how it goes. But I mean, so far with from what I've seen of this thing, I mean, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Um, it's got the dual turbine blades in it in the front. It moves pretty freely. I mean, overall, I mean, you got the single perfect engine on the exhaust. Uh, the only thing minutely I see maybe wrong with it is probably either in the, the shipping department or whatever else, but it's got a little nick here. But that's nothing to do with. So. But, I mean, at least it came covered everything up. And uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to this, but like I said, I wish they were able to send me the full kit. Uh, these are basically for small blocks all the way up to, I believe it was like a 6.0 or a 6.1. And I um, think maybe a 6.2, don't hold me to it. But you're, uh, with this, you're supposed to be able to get up to 650 horsepower. So, in the months to come, when we get all the stuff saved up to buy this, because you know, we have to buy everything, and just to be able to test this product out. So we'll see how it goes. But other than that, I know um, I'm going to be putting a thing on the end of the video here. It's kind of like a promo code with MXR. Uh, if you go to their website and on promo card code, put Lopar Al. I believe you get an additional 10% off of all their products. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm not really one for endorsing people. So this is more or less going to be a review. And hopefully it's a good one. You know, I'm going to be honest. I mean, most of y'all know I'm pretty direct forward on things, and I'm going to give my honest opinion. And we'll kind of take it from there. But other than that, guys, I've got to get my shop cleaned up. Go check out their website. Like I said, they do anything from turbos to coilover suspension kits, connecting rods, uh, do some research on the company, and look at the product line. And uh, we'll see how this project goes. I mean, I got a couple more projects in the pipeline, so hopefully we can get this squeezed in and uh, see what happens. But other than that, guys, I appreciate it. I'm gonna get back to cleaning on the shop here and start working on some cars, so you know I keep the lights on here. And I'll see you down the road.